Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. I'm Kyle and welcome to the Power Flow. Thanks for stopping by. Got a nice 20 minute class lined up. A little bit challenging, working a bit of a sweat, hopefully. And we're gonna be moving from the front to the back of our mat and turning ourselves over a little bit. So see if you can synchronize your breath with your movements and see how that changes the way you experience your practice. I've also made a Spotify playlist, so if you fancy a bit of music, I find it really does help with keeping yourself sort of embodied throughout your practice. I'll put a link in the description below and I will cue you in the next cut when you can start to play that. And if you'd like to join in on our classes, I put one out on a Tuesday and a Thursday and you can hit the subscribe button not to miss out. So, when you're ready, you can grab your mat and let's begin. Hey, welcome back. So, bring yourself to a comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, let your eyes come to close. And take a moment just to arrive on your mat. Perhaps a few rounds of deep breaths. Just letting yourself settle and shake off any effort it took to get to your mat. And just committing to the next 20 minutes of your practice. Seeing if we can keep our synchronizing of the breath and the movement. Not being too hard on ourselves as we move and play through our flow. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release and let it go. Inhale to fill. Exhale to release. Inhale, arms rise above your head. Exhale, let them fall through to prayer at your heart center. Take a moment, if you'd like to, to set an intention for your class. Giving your practice a bit of grounding and some direction. Bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we'll begin today in child's pose at the back of our mats. Having the toes touch, knees out wide. Reach your hands out in front of you. And child's pose is always here if you need to take a break for whatever reason. Allow your head to rest on the ground. Take a deep breath in. Exhale right up to tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. You can do some circular motions into the wrists, just warming them up, pressing the ground away. Make your way to neutral. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, cat pose, round and press. Inhale, cow, belly lowers, chin up, open up the collarbones. Exhale, cat to press. Last time. Inhale, cow pose, belly lowers, look up. Exhale, cat, round and press. Neutral tabletop, tuck your toes, walk your hands forward. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, bring your knees to hover just off the floor. Feel your core fire up, press the ground away. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down, dog hips up, heels down. Take a few rounds here to work into this posture. You can pedal the legs out from left to right. You can stay still. Perhaps you wanna keep your eyes closed. Keep your face relaxed, back the neck relaxed. When you're ready, make your way to neutral. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. See if you can get your belly onto your thighs as you sit your hips back. Exhale, plank, ripple forward. Inhale, send your hips and your heels high up into the sky. Exhale, lower the heels down. Inhale, bend the knees to hover. Sit the hips back. Exhale, plank, ripple forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. See how you feel, straighten the arms, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, lower the heels down. And see if you can move with the breath. Inhale, knees bend, hips back, look forward. Exhale, plank, ripple forward. Inhale, hips and heels come high up into the sky. 
press the ground away, exhale, let your heels melt down. Inhale, knees bend, gaze forward. Exhale, ripple forward to plank. Inhale, shift the weight over the wrist. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, look up. Exhale, down to facing dog, roll over the toes, lower the heels down. Inhale, knees bend, gaze forward. Exhale, step jump or float top of the mat. <coughs> when you get there, ragdoll. Feet hip width distance apart, grab opposite elbows, generous bend to the legs, relax the back of the neck and sway from left to right. Really allow your shoulders and your head to hang heavy off your hips. To so slowly wake up the spine and the hamstrings, release the hands down, heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine, tuck the chin. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up above your head. Exhale, samasitihi, bring your hands to prayer. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, half lift, prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, keep your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog, straighten the arms, squeeze your thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, roll over the toes, lower the heels down. Inhale, knees bend, gaze forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. <laughs> Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, reset. Exhale, fold Uttanasana to release. Inhale, high mountain. Knees bend, arms reach up above your head. Exhale, Samasitihi, hands move through center. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, fold down to release. Inhale, half lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Inhale, weight shifts forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, lower the heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg reaches up and back, even the weight between your hands. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, shift forward and tap. <laughs> Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg reaches back to hold. Now, shift the weight into the right hand, and if you want to challenge yourself here, tease the weight off the left hand and touch your back foot. So, take your arm and see if you can touch the right foot. Release. Keep your right leg nice and straight. Inhale, bend your left leg, look forward. Exhale, hop off your left leg to the top of the mat. Standing L. Keep your right leg nice and straight, high on the fingertips. Ground down through the left heel. Bring your hands to prayer. Now we're gonna power up into warrior three variation. Nice capital T shape. Keep your balance. Find a focal point on the floor. Your right leg is active, so either pointed or flexed. With control, bend your left leg and touch the right foot down on the floor and reach your arms out alongside your ears. With the rocket ship arms, we're gonna hold the lunge. Keep breathing into your belly, soften the face, bring your hands to prayer. Take a deep breath in, shift the weight forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the left hand side. Right elbow hooks outside the left knee. We're gonna lower the back knee to the floor and deepen our twist looking over the left shoulder. Release. Take your right heel and move it 90 degrees off your mat. Right hand comes towards the back of the mat, changing directions, extended side towards the back of the mat. Ground your right hand. And if you'd like to amp it up, we're gonna raise the knee up off the floor, working the core. You can bring the knee to the elbow and touch the foot to the back of the mat and the knee to the elbow. Keep breathing. As you lift, squeeze, raise the hips up. One more time, knee to elbow, and release. Take your right leg, extend it up and off your mat to the right hand side. Open up, fall in triangle, reach through the left hand. Turn the hips up, ground down through the heels, and breathe. One more breath in. As you exhale, place your 
left hand down onto the floor and take your right leg up three-legged dog and stack it over onto the floor a wild thing reaching the hips turning them up grounding down through the heels press down through the left hand bring softness to the face turn yourself back over right hand comes back down into a plank inhale shift the weight forward exhale lower halfway chaturanga elbows in inhale upward facing dog squeeze look up exhale downward facing dog hips up heels down well done so you kind of get an idea of where we're moving next so again synchronize the breath with the movements inhale three-legged dog left leg reaches up and back exhale left knee to left elbow shift forward and tap inhale three-legged dog left leg up and back to hold now shift the weight into the left hand spread the fingers nice and wide take the right hand come into the fingertips and send the hand back to touch the foot place the hand back down left leg is nice and strong and straight inhale bend your right knee look forward exhale hop off the right foot towards the top of the mat standing splits or standing L keep your leg nice and straight you're gonna press down through the right heel bring the hands to prayer and power up warrior three variation capital T shape release bend the right leg touch the left foot back down arms reach out in front of you in a lunge with arms alongside your ears keep breathing you're looking for a straight line from your heels along the spine out to the thumbs bring the hands to prayer inhale shift the weight forward exhale pray twist to the right side left elbow outside the right knee bring the hands to prayer and twist you're going to lower the back knee to the floor to deepen the twist look over the right shoulder keep breathing and release take your left heel walk it off 90 degrees off your mat left hand comes towards the top of the mat extended side variation reach the right arm alongside the ear if you'd like to amp it up lift the left leg off the floor left knee to left elbow and then left foot to right foot keep going you want to squeeze and lift the hips up as you bring the left knee up to the elbow see if you can do one more time and squeeze and release extend your left leg straight off your mat open up fall in triangle reach to the right hand turn the hips up and breathe right hand comes back down left leg flips up and over into a wild thing left heels grounds down right heel grounds down turn and reach turn the hips up press and engage your core relax the face keep breathing into the belly and release left hand finds the mat turn the left leg over plank pose inhale shift the weight forward exhale lower halfway elbows in inhale up dog roll over the toes squeeze look up exhale down dog hips up lower the heels down inhale three-legged dog right leg rises hold spread the fingers in the right hand if you want to tease the weight of the left hand and touch the back foot find balance release place the hand back down with a straight right leg bend your left knee and look forward exhale hop towards the top of the mat standing L or standing splits find your variation ground down through the left heel bring your hands to prayer rise up warrior three variation you can have your hands at prayer out beside you finding a focal point helps keeping your back leg nice and strong lower the right hip down to the floor take a deep breath in bend your left knee touch the foot down to the floor exhale reach your arms out in front of you to hold we are in a lunge position rocket ship arms reaching towards the front of the room bring your hands to prayer inhale shift the weight forward exhale prayer twist to the left hand side right elbow hooks lower the back knee and twist it's nice to use this elbow against the knee to leverage the spine working with your breath and release right heel comes off the mat right arm reaches to the back of the mat ground the hand reach the left arm out in front of you and raise your knee off the floor working some core so right knee to elbow right foot to left heel keep going again seeing if you can synchronize the breath with the movements and release take your right leg extend it out and straight place it off the mat and open up fallen triangle reaching through the left hand and breathe 
Notice where the breath is going. See if you can encourage it into the belly instead of a shorter breath into the chest. Release left hand down. Right leg flips up and over into a wild thing. Opening up the chest, grounding down through the heels and reaching through the hands. Keep breathing and release. Almost there. Right hand comes back down. Right leg flips back over into plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, keep your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Squeeze, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up, heels down. One more side. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, shift forward and tap. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg up and back to hold. Now, spread the fingers of the left hand, send the right arm back and touch hold of the left foot. Place the right hand back down. Keep your left leg up in the sky. Bend your right knee, look forward. Exhale, hop towards the top of the mat. Standing L or standing splits. Find your variation. Ground down through the right heel, up on the fingertips. Bring the hands to prayer. Now rise up, warrior three variation. Nice, strong capital T shape. Right leg, your left leg is active. Inhale, bend your right knee, touch your left foot back down on the floor. As you exhale, reach your arms out in front of you, rocket ship arms. Should be nice and strong into the front leg. Keep breathing, hands come to prayer. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the right side. Left elbow outside right knee, hands come to prayer. Lower your back knee to the floor and twist. Release, left heel comes off the mat, left arm moves to the top. Right arm alongside your ear, ground down through the left hand and raise your left leg off the floor, left knee to left elbow. And we're gonna tap the foot to the heel, elbow to knee, keep going. It's nice to always integrate the core into the practice instead of having an isolated core practice, kind of just makes things more interesting and builds more dynamic strength. Last time, knee to elbow and release. Extend the leg out to the right side, extend it, place it down, open up. Fallen triangle. Turn the hips, relax the face, and breathe. Release, right hand comes back down. Inhale, wild thing, left leg flips up and over. Ground down both through both heels. Left arm reaches, turn the hips up, and breathe. Press down through the right hand, engage the core. And see if you can turn the left shoulder and look up and over and release, left hand comes down, left leg flips over, plank pose, inhale, shift the weight forward, exhale, lower halfway for the last time, make it good, elbows in, inhale, upward facing dog, squeeze, look up, exhale, downward facing dog, hips up, lower the heels down, well done, inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, exhale, step jump or float to a seat, and extend both legs out in front of you. I'm gonna start off with a little bend to the legs. Arms reach up to the sky. Inhale, shift the weight forward and release. If your hamstrings are feeling a bit tight, start off with a little bend, keep the belly pressed into the thigh, and then from here, over time, you can move your sitting bones back or kick your feet out to keep that belly to thigh connection, improving more of a healthy stretch in your hamstrings. Release, inhale, roll up. And as you exhale, slowly lower down into your back. Draw the right knee into your chest. Flex both toes, draw the right knee towards the right shoulder. And release, supine twist, lower the leg over to the left side, looking over the right shoulder. And release. Right leg draws up into the chest. Give it a good squeeze. We'll switch it out. Left leg draws in. Flex both feet. Tuck your chin. See if you can get your shoulders on the floor. And release. Supine twist. Lower the left knee over to the right hand side. And look over the left shoulder. Draw both knees in, 
Give yourself a good squeeze. Inhale, raise your forehead up towards the knees. Take a moment to reconnect with your intention. And as you exhale, release into Shavasana, taking up some space. Well done. You can make any last adjustments and when you're ready, commit to stillness. Inhale into the belly. Exhale to release and let it go. Take a few rounds of quiet, mindful breaths, keeping your attention embodied. So just noticing the sensations, noticing if the attention drifts off and then returning it to the sensations. Thank you once again for putting effort into your self-practice. And thank you for putting support into this channel. It is greatly appreciated. See if you can take a few breaths more than you normally would in your Shavasana. It's always important to really take the time to integrate the lessons from your practice. And I'll see you here next time on your mats. Namaste.